what's up what's up guys you're welcome to another gang gang episode of pfp my name is mike alonso and i am your host now the topic we're going to discuss are apps that you can use as a podcaster so let's let's move right in and explore guys you know at times before you even spend serious money like big money like this i sure have some people nah, still small money sure <laughs> but anyways before you spend money to buy a microphone uh, there are other readily available options that you can use to record podcasts so instead of like spending millions uh, you know even building a, a recording studio in your own house uh, there are there are other options that you can use and all those options are in your phones yes your smartphones you know this is because there are applications that can be used to record podcasts that are already on your phone and even ones that you can download and install you understand and the first one we will talk about is your sound recorder yes so now every phone should have a sound recorder so if yours doesn't have one uh, i have the perfect solution for you yes so now you need to take a trip to to your window uh, just just open it wide uh, i show you the see as see as they had for you if not to open facebook and i go daisy for you <laughs> Oh, yeah, open, open it, open, open it. Uh-huh. Now, right after that, uh, the next thing where you go do now is uh, just fling your phone through the window. Uh-huh. Uh, because waiting, what's the use? What's the use of your phone if your phone doesn't have sound re- Anyways, anyways, let's let's just go ahead because because what is the use if you don't know what's in supposed to be your phone in the first place? You know, the truth is that there are lots of phone applications that can literally make your life easy. And in this case, a sound recorder is very very valuable so uh, you can always record with your phone it is that easy but the disadvantage is that the sound quality is always poor so it will need a lot of edits yes so now so it be now there are other good apps that can be used to record podcasts now i'm sure that a lot of people will go and browse to get a list of apps that can be used to record podcasts but the truth is that you're getting the lists without getting a full experience you know that's the difference between pfp and your and your google search i have downloaded virtually every app that can be used for podcasting and when i say that there are peculiar apps that you should download then <laughs> believe me when i say so because you guys follow who know root you know it, it is a principle of life and and also i'm pre- i'm bringing this to you from a nigerian perspective you know given that a lot of apps are not free you need to pay money and you know a lot of others can't fully be used if your ip address states that uh, you are from west africa you get now now so we see more. now another app that i'll mention is anchor yes yeah, so anchor is so easy to use and you know it has a lot of features that can ensure that you literally do podcasting yourself from the comfort of your home you can decide to use at least you know even half of the podcast formats that we mentioned in our second episode you know you can edit your vocals add background music you can even upload to streaming sites like spotify you know it is highly recommended by pfp now another great app is for local you know that's another wonderful application that you can use to record podcasts you know the best thing about for local is that you can edit your vocals real time even while you speak you know it is mainly used by artists to record music because it has a wide range of vocal effects and and eqs now i know a lot of us might be asking what is eq now eq which is equalization it it is the tool that you use to manipulate frequency components of your sound so that you know everything is balanced and clear so voloco can also be used to record podcast it is as simple as that and when you're done you can always share your podcast link to social media you know for people to listen now there is another application and that is the one that tops these other two applications that you know i just mentioned well we'll be going for a commercial break and when we come back 
we will reveal that up to you. Yes, so. She be not know your business and your service we they wait for. So if you need to advertise something on this advert space, you know you can always hit us up and then we will be of service to you. Anyway, someone wanna give me a few minutes, make a drink water, but can they come back now, now, now. Right, yes, so I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. I know I promise you now, uh, you know, that I will reveal the best podcasting app to you. Abby, <laughs> yeah, so the name is Dolby On. Now, Dolby On is, is one of the best apps that can be used to record podcasts. You know, you know, it can help you record live podcasts and even more. You know, you can clean and improve the quality of your sound with noise reduction, fade in, fade out, uh, EQs, etc, etc. You know, you can export audios and even share with everyone. You know, editing your sound is very easy when you record on this app. It doesn't really have much disadvantages. Well, they are almost non-existent yeah now there are additional apps that can also help you as a podcaster you know uh, for example i'm sure that you'll be planning on how to you know publicize your podcast and you need flyers now that's where canva comes in you know you'll have to download and install canva it's a, it's a very good app that you can use to design flyers you know it is relatively easy to use and there are tutorials that you can even watch on YouTube to help you understand the app better. And uh, secondly, you can download InShot or KindMaster. You know, you can use these apps to convert your podcast into videos so that, you know, you can post on uh, video streaming platforms like YouTube or, or social media sites like uh, Instagram and Facebook, you know. Oh, well, speaking of Instagram and Facebook, do you know that there is an app that can help you post on Instagram and Facebook at the same time? You know, the, this app can, can help you schedule your posts too. And I'm sure as a podcaster, you wouldn't even want your fans to miss an episode. And this app makes sure that your podcast content is posted exactly when you want. And, you know, while you chill and watch and watch people go crazy over the things you're saying, <laughs> you get. Now, this application is called meta business suite you know it's a really nice application so you know take advantage of it today you know to really help your podcasting journey yeah so finally finally if you have any issues pertaining podcasting please hit us up and you know we will put you through we've come to the end of today's podcast episode so if you love what you've heard please leave a like and a comment on our content you're, you're welcome to also ask your questions in the comment section. Um, we'll surely answer your questions. Also, remember to follow us on all social media sites. Uh, the link are uh, right there on our podcast details. Ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy, Michael Onzer, signing out. Mm-hmm.